Hello everybody, and welcome to the 40 and Slip Bedtime Stories. Tonight, a police officer's sightings in Elmwood, Wisconsin. In 1976, 30-year-old veteran police officer and World War II combat pilot George Wheeler said he saw a UFO near his home in Elmwood, Wisconsin. It was the second time Wheeler had seen something strange in the skies above the area. The officer spotted what looked like a very bright orange glow from, coming from the top of Tuttle Hill. He said it was as bright as the sun and hard to look at. At first, Wheeler assumed it was a fire, so he drove his squad car to the top of the hill. To his surprise, he found a glowing object that seemed to be hovering 100 feet off the ground. It had six bluish white lights, windows on the sides, and he could see moving shadows inside. That's when Wheeler radioed the sheriff's department in Ellsworth to tell them he was watching a UFO. Just then, the spacecraft quickly shot straight up into the sky, making a whooshing sound as it left. Wheeler claims a flash of light came down from the ship and struck him. At that point, the squad car's lights and radio went completely dead. Wheeler was barely conscious. He couldn't remember what happened after that until local resident David Moots stopped to ask him if he was okay. When Moots was interviewed about the case, he said Wheeler told him he had been hit. He asked him if he had been hit by a car, but he said no, one of those UFOs. Elmwood is actually a hot spot for UFO sightings. Moots said he heard a lot of people making such claims, so it was no particular surprise. But being hit by a UFO took him back a bit. There were several other witnesses involved and interviewed in this case. Mrs. Wiles Wergland, who lived just outside of Elmwood, claimed she saw a bright orange moon-shaped object on the hill. Another witness, Paul Fredrickson, saw an orange glow like a half moon. Nearby at the O'Brien family farm, Mr. O'Brien said his TV set to quit for a short time while he was watching the Perry Mason show. Right about the same time, it all went down. A nine-year-old boy at another nearby farm said his dogs were barking and acting unusually weird that night. Police Chief Gene Helmer of Elmwood, yet another person involved, had been at home monitoring the police scanner when he heard Wheeler say he was watching a UFO. Helmer's radio went dead before Wheeler could describe it, but he did hear him say, get somebody up here, I've been hit. That's when Helmer left right away to see what was up. When he got to the top of the hill, he found Moots trying to calm Wheeler down. Helmer said he'd never seen a man as frightened and upset as Wheeler was. The officer also pointed out that the patrol car, which recently had a tune-up, needed all of its points and plugs replaced in the engine, and the starter was also acting up. At about 1 a.m., or two hours after the incident, Mrs. Wheeler had to take her husband to the hospital. He was there for three days, and tests found nothing, so he was released. Only a few days later, he returned because he was having severe headaches and nightmares. He could also no longer remember any of the details from the sighting. According to the article, his health rapidly deteriorated. Doctors could not determine the cause of his deterioration. And within six months of his encounter, Officer George Wheeler died of unknown causes.